Right here, I'm going to be showing you how to make a table of random numbers for use with simulating events. We're going to look at the situation now. It has five events in it, each with a 40% failure rate, and we're going to make a table of random numbers for this that will be nice and quick to identify which is a success and which is a failure. So we could start typing in event 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. But I'm just going to type in event 1, and then next to it I'll type in event 2. And then if I highlight event 1 and 2, and you come to the right here, you'll see a little blue circle, or maybe it's a blue square for you. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll see a, a black plus appears. You don't see it on mine because of my cursor options, but you'll see a black plus. If you click on that and you drag it another three squares, and we'll carry on the formula, so long as it's a clear pattern that you've established. Here's what will really save us time though. Trial 1, trial 2, and I want 30 trials. So if I highlight trial 1 and I highlight trial 2, and I click on that, you see the little, bl the little black uh, plus has appeared for me, it went on your screen. If you drag it down to cell 31, we'll see it just carry, it saves you typing out trial 1 all the way through to trial 30. And then up here, we just want to make a random number. So the code we'll use for this is equals to make a formula. Rand between. That gives you whole numbers between two values that you set. Now we're doing 40%, which is a, a, a multiple of 10. So we'll pick the numbers 1 to 10. And you can just use this 1 to 10. It's fine. And it picks a random number. And once again, we don't want to type that out over and over. So if I just drag it down the bottom right, you have to click on that bottom right little blue dot that appears and drag it across. Keep it highlighted, and if you copy all the way down now, doing the same thing, click on that blue dot. We'll go all the way down to there, and now you've got a table. That saves you rolling a dice five times, 30 times, 150 times, a lot quicker there. Now you see, if I go over here and I type something, see all the numbers changed? Now we don't want that to happen each time, and you can never get it back. So what we're gonna do is this little trick is if we highlight the whole thing, highlight all the data and then move up to here where it says edit we're going to cut that data out and we're just going to paste it back but when we paste it so don't don't deselect it if you go paste special we're only going to paste the values not the formulas so that means the equation equals rand between that we typed before will be gone all that will be left now is the number that was in its place you can see it just says six it doesn't say equals rand between and if I if I type over here, nothing changes. All right. So the last thing we're going to do here, we've got a table. We can go through and inspect it now. But just a little handy formatting hint. If you highlight everything, and you go up to here and click formatting, then go down to conditional formatting. We want the numbers that are 40%. So it's going to be the numbers 1 to 4. So if I just go here and find is less than, and I'm going to put the number 4.5, so anything that's less than 4.5 will be highlighted and I'll make it like red for bad because it's a fail. Then when I click done, now I've got a table and I can see for every single trial, I can see how many times I had a failure in that trial. <clears throat> then we can see which ones meet our criteria and which ones do not. And that's the end of that.